Hi, welcome brides. I'm Michael Moore. I'm the owner of Simply More Makeup in Cherry Creek North. What we're going to be showing you right now is three very distinctly different looks for your wedding. You can choose a mountain wedding, you can choose a classic wedding, and you can choose a wonderful, dramatic, modern wedding. The mountain wedding is going to be clean and fresh. The classic is going to be very Grace Kelly inspired. And then your modern is going to be something at the high end of a New York style wedding. So we're starting off with the primer for the foundation to last all day long for your long wedding day. We're going to start off with a water-based and waterproof foundation for you. Great for HD television. All your photographic work will look flawless. It's very lightweight so it doesn't feel heavy or greasy. It's also one of those wonderful products so that when you're dancing cheek to cheek with your husband, it won't be coming off on him too, which is wonderful. So now we're gonna just touch up a little bit with some powdered foundation. So we're just gonna start off with a primer. It actually helps hold everything in place and keeps the eyeshadow on all day long. And I'm gonna take this color just to give a nice, clean, classic kind of mountain look to the wedding. This has a nice amount of shimmer in it, but not too heavy. So now we're just gonna take a soft matte color, which is gonna go all the way over this. We're gonna be using a waterproof eyeliner on you. And we're gonna lift up the eye, and we're gonna take it right into the root of these eyelashes. You don't wanna put it on the rim, but you wanna put it into the root. So we're gonna take a waterproof mascara. Always make sure it is a waterproof mascara the day of your wedding. When you're putting your mascara on, always take it from the root and pull it all the way through to the eyelash base. When you do that, you actually keep the curl to your eyelashes so much longer. So we're gonna use a nice neutral blush. We're gonna do a little bit at the top of the head, the chin, and a little bit on the nose. And we're doing this as an outdoor wedding. I really want just a very clean look on your lips. Notice how I always put the lipstick on first. We'll do the liner second. And the reason for that is if you do eat off your lipstick, you'll eat it all off that way instead of just having a line left around the lip. And I'm just gonna to top you off with a touch of gloss. Lip gloss is great to take away that really dry appearance to the lips that we tend to get here in Colorado. Last little bit of cleanup here. Perfect. With the Mountain Wedding, what we did is you really want to make sure that the skin is absolutely perfect. You want the flaws taken away, but not ever heavy, because the Mountain Wedding, the wedding was going to be outdoors. It was going to be the daylight. So what we wanted to do with that is just really bring out the eyes, give a great definition to the features, but nothing ever overly played up. So you just look like you're fresh, like you're walking through the meadows of the mountains of Colorado. So we're gonna actually take a color called Mushroom all the way up into the crease. Just gives you a little bit more depth and sultriness and sexiness as well. We're gonna give a little bit of a highlight up there and a little depth into the corner by putting something with a little purple. Purple always pulls out the auburn and the brown and green in the eye. And even though we are going for a somewhat of a smoky look right now, we're not going for that deep, sexy, hard, dramatic look. We're going for that soft sexiness. So with this being said, we're gonna take the same color of mushroom and we're gonna take it slightly into the eyelash line through here. So you get that soft rim. We're gonna take your brow bone and we're gonna add just a touch of shimmer to that right now. When you're doing your lip, make sure that you use the whole lip, but you never draw outside the lip or dry, draw inside the lip either. And sometimes if you need your lipstick to last a little bit longer, fill your whole lip in with your lip liner first, okay? So now we're gonna take something a little bit more neutral for the lips, just to add a little bit of that glisten that we were talking about. Now for just a little bit of fun, we're gonna take a little bit of that same shimmer. And we're gonna put a little bit right into the inside of the eye, which will take away any darkness or any tired look. I always have a little powder to touch up with. Perfect. We wanted to go for more of like a Grace Kelly kind of look with this. We made the skin a little bit more flawless. We added a little bit more powder, giving that more velvety kind of appearance to the surface of your skin. The eyes, we took them and we smoked them up a little bit with giving her a little bit more definition to the lid, as well as to the undercarriage of the eye bringing out the eyelashes and defining up the eye a little bit more, giving a nice little pop of color to the apples of the cheek. But I really think what really brought this look together was the lipstick. We took it from the really nice neutral eye to a little bit more of a pop of a ruby red on the lips, but not letting the lips overtake the lead singer on the face. As I always say, the eyes are the Diana Ross, the cheeks and your lips are your Supremes, but that Supreme down in the lips was just there enough to bring out the lead singer a little bit more. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off 
with a color called Angel, which is going to bring, bring a wonderful silver to the eyelid. I'm going to take that, layer that color to brighten the lid. So now we're going to take a darker color. We're going to go right into the crease with this. For this look to give a little bit more drama to the face, we're going to actually darken your eyebrows a little bit too. So we're going to actually use a gel eyeliner right now. And when you're doing a liquid eyeliner of any sort or a gel eyeliner, start really tight to the lash line and then build it from that point on. Now what we're going to do is smoke up the bottom a little bit more. We're going to give you just a little bit more mascara. A little bit underneath your eye brings out your eyelashes a little bit more. If it's not waterproof, don't put it on underneath your eyes. Even though we're going for a very absent nude lip, you still want a lot of definition. So we're going to go with the natural lip liner here. We're going to be using a little bit of a gloss, doing a little bit of an illuminating powder underneath your eye. We're going to be using a little bit of a brighter pink right on the apples of the cheek to give you that wonderful blushing bride kind of look. Kind of like you've just been exercising for 10 or 15 minutes before walking down the aisle. The modern look was about so much fun. You know, we basically just took the eye and really dramatized the definition of it. We put a light color on the lid with a darker color in the crease. And then taking the dark black eyeliner all the way around the eye, but never making it about the eyeliner, making it about the eye. Then taking a gel eyeliner to the top eyelashes and giving her a little bit of that winged out look from the lash line all the way through, giving her a wonderful bright, pink on the apples of the cheek, but then taking the lips down to nothing and only showing off the definition, using a very pale carnation pink with a wonderful holographic clear gloss on top of that. So in preparation for your wedding, what you want to make sure that you do when you're going to be hiring a makeup artist, go in and have a trial done before you hire that makeup artist just for the day of the wedding. You wouldn't, you know, just take any dress off the rack. You want to make sure that you don't just take any makeup artist for your wedding. Make sure your foundations are perfect for your skin tone, your skin type, and your skin texture. And remember, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Keeping the skin hydrated, looking fresh. Keeping the lips looking fresh and dewy with a wonderful uh, lip balm. But stay away from anything that has a lot of petrolatum in it. Get something that's a little bit more natural for your lips so it actually will not become addicted to it. Last but not least, when you're thinking about your wedding, it's gonna be a tearful day, good and bad. So you wanna make sure that everything you're using is waterproof. Make sure that your makeup artist is using a waterproof foundation, waterproof eyeshadows, waterproof eyeliner, and your lips, make them last all day long. Go for something that gives you long wear so that you don't have to keep reapplying it. Then the other thing I always like to tell my brides to do is make sure you put a person in charge for your wedding day. Make sure that your maid of honor actually has your powder compact to keep the shine off the face. Make sure that the maid of honor is there keeping the lips dewy, keeping them hydrated, and make sure that she's also there taking good care of you during your wedding day. Ladies, remember, this is the most special day of your life up to this point, so make it very special. Make sure that you're spending a lot of money on this wedding, you spend a lot of money on that gown. Make sure that your biggest accessory looks the best. That's your hair, that's your makeup. Spend money on those because those are the pictures you're going to see. The banquet tables are one thing, but when you look at those pictures, you're going to look at the joy that's in your face, so make sure that you look good in those pictures from years to come. So if you want to look at this video again or you want to learn more about Simply More, just go to www.simply-more.com and that's M-O-O-R-E.